is a Black Star spin-off making its way to the Arrowverse. Let's discuss. So recently there was an article from the website known as We Got This Covered, I'm sure you guys have heard of it, and this particular article was discussing the idea of a Black Star slash Mia Smoke spin-off series which is currently in development at the CW. They are saying that they know that this series is in development and is going to be a spin-off of Arrow after Arrow makes its eventual conclusion by the end of season 8. So what I want to do in this video is discuss this article. Normally I don't do videos like this where I discuss, you know, potential, you know, leaked or, you know, leaked things because I, I like to talk about things that are official. But I do have quite a lot of thoughts on this, and I have had quite a few suggestions that I should make this video, this video. so let's dive into it. What's important to note about this is that the article says a source close to We Got This Covered is giving this information. So a source close could mean literally anything. That could literally mean a guy who they know said something. Like, there's no actual evidence to say that this particular source knows anything. There's no evidence to say that this source is connected to the CW or to anybody connected to Arrow or, you know, the Arrowverse. There's, there's nothing saying that. Literally, all the article says is a source close, which, like I say, that is very, very vague. It could literally mean anything. So, you know, you'll hear a lot of YouTubers, especially in this field, say this a lot. But with all of this information, please take it with a grain of salt because this could literally be anything. So this show would focus on the character of Mia Smoke, aka Black Star, who we have met this season on Arrow uh, in the Flash Forward storyline. This is, of course, the daughter of Oliver and Felicity. So this kind of idea of taking Mia and making her the lead of her own show is something that I don't love because I've not been too big of a fan of the character of Mia personally. I think that she's been quite annoying. I think the way she's been written has been quite underwhelming. She's just not been this character that I've been that interested in and that invested in because, again, she's just not particularly been a character that I don't think has been that well served. And again, I think she's quite an annoying character, especially in comparison to a lot of the other characters we have in the future storyline who I quite like, such as William, uh, Connor Hawk, and Roy, uh, and even Dinah. I think they are a lot better and a lot more capable than this particular character of Mia slash Blackstar. I don't know what it is about Mia. She just doesn't give me that feeling that I'm looking at her going, yes, she could lead her own show. And it's interesting because the flash forward storyline is really trying to make Mia the main protagonist of that particular storyline, which is interesting because I thought the main protagonist of this future storyline was going to be William when you look at the, you know, the season seven premiere. I thought this whole thing was going to be like a story between William and Roy, but it's really not that. Roy has really been sidelined and William and Mia are now playing 50-50. So it's a bit of a strange one. And I, given the fact that I'm not a huge fan of Mia, I just don't really think I would like to see her in the lead role. Also, I just don't personally believe that Catherine McNamara, who portrays uh, Mia Smoke, is that good of an actress. I know that she has a lot of fans. I know that, you know, she comes from a show called Shadowhunters, which I know has a really big and passionate fan base. And if you like her, you know, all the power to you. But me personally, I just haven't think, I just don't think she's been that strong. Now, she might be great on Shadowhunters. I don't know. I've not seen her on that show. But on Arrow, I don't think she's been that strong. She's been very one note and very, very bland. And I don't think she's portrayed any, you know, enough kind of pizzazz and enough energy to really make me think that, yes, she could lead a show. Like, for example, when Grant Gustin came onto Arrow, you know, and I saw him on Arrow, I thought he could definitely lead a show. Like, he could definitely lead The Flash. Like, it, it just definitely, it makes sense. You know, it just fit in your mind. But I'm looking at Mia and I'm looking at Catherine McNamara and I'm thinking, I just don't think she has the energy and the power to lead a show uh, in the same way that you know Stephen Amell does with Arrow it just it doesn't fit right for me same goes for Ruby Rose as Kate Kane slash Batwoman I don't think she has the acting talent to uh, lead Batwoman but you know we'll have to see how that goes but you know in terms of Mia I just don't think that Catherine McNamara is a strong enough actress to pull this through it also says in this article that this would obviously take place in Future Star City, which does make a lot of sense. Obviously, that is where Mia is from in our particular timeline. So, you know, this would all take place in the future stuff. Um, this is all fine, but I feel like obviously the future storyline has been quite problematic for Arrow. If this was standalone, it would be a lot better because it can just do whatever it wants and it doesn't have to worry about continuity and lining up with Arrow necessarily. It would still have to line up with Arrow to some extent because obviously this is still in the Arrowverse. But, you know, for the most part, it could just do what it wants and doesn't have to worry about you know, facing these issues of continuity with Arrow. It would be a lot better, you know, because I think a lot of people have said that, you know, the 
flash forward storyline has been problematic, me included. Even though I've liked the flash forwards overall, especially lately, they have been quite problematic. So it's interesting that this would take place completely in the future. But like I say, as a standalone project, as opposed to being tied to Arrow, it would be a lot better, a lot more beneficial to it to be standalone, which in this case it would be. Also, would this mean, though, that we would get other characters in the show, such as William, played by Ben Lewis, and also Connor Hawke, played by Joseph David Jones? Like, would they be supporting characters in this? Because I think they should be. Um, and if they were going to do, like, a future kind of Star City show, I would much rather that William was the lead of that, because William has been around longer, he was, he's got more seeds in the show than Mia does, like, we haven't actually met Mia yet, like, that's one thing you've got to remember, like, yeah, we've met her in the flash forwards, but we haven't actually seen her yet, I think we're going to see her, I think we're going to see her next episode, but we're not actually going to see her get, actually, she's not going to be born until next season, um, I think around the time of maybe Crisis, so I don't think we're actually going to see Mia that well so we're not gonna have a connection to her if she was to lead a show whereas with William we've seen him since season four so we kind of we know him and again I think Ben Lewis is a much stronger actor and I really like his portrayal of William in the future so I think it would be a lot better to do that and then also we have Joseph David Jones as Connor Hawke who is fantastic I love him and he you know he was great in Legends of Tomorrow he's been great in Arrow so far I'm excited to see what they do with him so I feel like you've got to have those characters in there to really bolster you know the Mia character because without them it's going to feel a bit hollow. So do I want this Black Star show? Honestly, no. I don't think it will happen either. I don't really feel like this source that of We Got This Covered is particularly reliable. Um, the idea is interesting to me, and I do like the idea of them doing an Arrow spin-off. But I feel like you have to do something a bit more original and a bit more different to Arrow. Because if you think about it, if they do a Black Star, Future Star City spin-off, and we have her, and William, and Connor, and Zoe, like... It would literally just be Arrow in the future. It would just be Arrow 2.0. So, you know, I feel like the CW, given the fact that Arrow is ending now, I feel like they're going to want to do another show. But they want if they're going to do an Arrow spin-off, it would be something a bit different. Otherwise, why would you... Wouldn't you just continue Arrow otherwise? Rather than, you know, doing a whole new show, which is basically just Arrow. Like, do you know what I mean? So I feel like they want to do something a bit different than that. Um, like, personally, if I was to do, like, an Arrow spin-off, I'd love to see, like, a Birds of Prey spin-off where they have, you know... Katie Cassidy in the lead, Julianne Harkavy, and also potentially Katie Lotz, depending on what, what Legends is doing. I feel like that's a lot more interesting and a lot more different than just doing an Arrow show. Because when you think about it, we're going to see one of these younger Team Arrow members basically become the Green Arrow by the end of the season, I imagine. Be it either Connor Hawk or it could be it could be William, it could be, it might be Mia, who knows. But, you know, you're going to have a Team Arrow in the future, essentially. And it's going to be basically the same as what we have on Arrow anyway so I feel like they want to do something a bit different and you know would I want this show no not really I feel like the flash forward storyline can wrap up by the end of the show like by the end of season 8 we can wrap that all up and it will all be fine I don't think I need any more than that if you're going to do an Arrow spin-off do something a bit different like I say Birds of Prey or anything else if you have your own ideas for an Arrow spin-off make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below might do a video about that in the future so would I want this show nah so thank you guys for tuning into DC Central. If you enjoyed it, make sure you share this video and give it a like. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I hope to see you guys again next time.